Today I'd like to discuss Fluke's IR fusion technology. As you can see, I have a Fluke thermal imager in my hand here, and I'm looking at a, a cup of hot water and a cup of cold water. And you can see the image is in full thermal. Now if I go ahead in the menu, I can go to image, I can go to IR fusion, and I can bring it down to min IR, which essentially is an overlap of a digital image and a thermal image. And as you can see, when I move my focus ring, you can see how those images are aligning together. This allows you, as the user, when you're doing a scan, to ensure that you're getting the focus that you need. The image focus is really the biggest part of doing thermal imaging. Everything's adjustable in the software, with the exception of focus. So getting a clear focused image is of the highest importance. Now I can go back into image, I can go into IR fusion again, and I can actually do a max IR picture in picture. So I'm actually doing a digital and a thermal overlay, and this also will allow you to really have a reference of what you're looking at, being able to see the edge of the digital and the thermal image together, also allowing you to help focus. On the side of this camera, we also have a technology called IR Optiflex. This will allow you to autofocus between 4 and 20 feet. So if I pull this imager away, I'm, I'm too close in this, in this caption, but if I pulled away to that 4 feet, you would actually see these images align and be able to take your snapshot quick and easy. Now if I take this camera and put it down, you can see that we've kind of discussed the blending of the digital and the thermal image. In the software here, we've got a perfectly focused image. This is, a, this is a example of a chiller. I'm in full infrared, and I'll go ahead and take it out of picture in picture. So we're zoomed in here. You can see some of the markers that we've indicated temperatures. I can actually scroll this back on this blending line all the way from full infrared to full visible, or anywhere in between. And then I can also go to picture in picture, and this is once again going to allow me to ensure that I did have this camera in complete focus when I took this image. This is very important. This will also allow you to understand where you were when you took these images and be able to create a report that will allow you to do better predictive and preventive maintenance in your facility.